At the intersection of manifest and destiny, a man fell. He wasn't a big man. He wasn't driving a Ferrari, wearing diamonds like P. Diddy or these other people he's supposed to want to be. He was a man who'd fallen and rose again and didn't surrender his life to all the sadness he'd seen. Somebody like us. He's walking through that intersection of custard and bad water. Or was it fire water and smallpox blankets? It's hard to remember, there's so many roads. Another young cavalry officer, or was it a policeman, saw him carving it because telling stories in wood is not something good in our time anymore, impossible to tax. And besides, didn't we already kill you people? I believe we deserve an apology for your continued existence. You don't go with anything in my condo. You breathed on my beds. Didn't we kill you people already? Somewhere between a nation of immigrants and a noble savage, John T. Fell, splintered, and stories ran from his carver's hand. We are asked to feel sympathy for Ian Burke, 27 years of life, leading him to stop his police car and kill a man in one minute flat. Ian, if you were that scurred of a half-deaf, nearsighted, limping native woodcarver minding his own business, you should have stayed your stupid ass in your car. <laughs> I was born to an alley, mixed blood, lesbian mother, and an African-American, Choctaw, bisexual father. I grew on these streets, spent my life vanishing, at risk, crossing the bridge of rise up, fallen fighters, crossing over forever, crossing over. Thank you. That's a, 